Seven centuries have passed since the Earth plunged into darkness. Seven centuries since the Jetiter swore to regain for man his lost knowledge and freedom. All the immortals took the oath, all except one who dominates the world. But soon an immortal will come to confront him. His name is Quentin MacLeod. He is the Highlander. Enough of them! Then Iraq must find more, wherever he can. Send him to the Highlands. <laughs> Eternal power to Cortan! Highlands, man. The Highlands. But, Major, that's where the Dundees... Silence! Cortan's orders. Eternal power to Cortan. Eternal power to Cortan. Make me a watermill, Quentin, will you? A watermill? Out of what? There's no wood around here. Oh, yes, there is. There's a crab apple tree up there. Where? See, but maybe you're too scared to climb that high. Me scared? You must be joking. I've climbed tougher peaks than this, little sister. <laughs> Come back, Quentin. It's too high. Aren't you ever scared? Never. Not even of the hunters of Horton? Why should I be? I'm very strong, little sister. You're just lucky. I bet you don't even have nightmares like I do. I do, sometimes. One scary dream. Always the same. And it happened for real before I started dreaming about it. What do you mean? Tell me about it. I was seven years old when it happened. Right here in the Highlands. You and Gold were babies. You'd just been born. Come on, Gold! Do you know your name, child? Let's try it again. Do you know your name, child? Hmm. You do have a name, don't you? Well, it's about time. So tell it to me, will you? Quentin. Quentin of the Highlands, sir. Quentin of the Highlands? Is that all? <laughs> um, the Dundee clan, sir. So be it. Quentin the Dundee. I'll be back. If not for you, then for another. I've got time. But that's not a scary dream at all. To me it is. That man may come back for me. Hunters! You 
to hide in the cave behind the falls and stay there, whatever happens. Mother! Mother! Ah! Hurry, Mother. We have to get to the mountains. No, Quentin. You must not run away. But, Mother, they're coming. You must face them, Quentin McLeod. M McLeod? Why are you calling me that? Because that's your true name. Your time has come, my son. Obey your mother, boy. Come here and fight. If you dare, get rid of that woman. I'll take care of this brave champion here. Ah! No! Ah! Let go of her! Murderer! Starting to learn, child, but you're beginning to bore me. Ah! The lesson's finished, child. Why did you call me McLeod? No! At last! Seven hundred years waiting for this moment. Quite a long time, I have to say. You have won, my son. Your destiny has arrived. much time left, Quentin. So listen carefully. Mother. Hush. You are the chosen Highlander. The immortal awaited for seven centuries. Although I loved you like my own. You are no Dundee. You are the last of the MacLeods. The stranger will come back for you. You must follow him, Quentin. So go now and face your destiny. But first... Save the Dundees from Cortan. And please remember to take care of your little sister. Quentin, where's Mommy? I'll explain it to you, Clyde. Do you know your name, child? I am Quentin McLeod, and I am not a child. And what are you planning to do with that, McLeod? Free the Dundees. Get out of my way. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, if your intentions are to fight, then fight like a Highlander. Ah. Highlander. Did you call me, my lord? What? Oh, it's you, Malone. Prepare my armor. Your armor? But I would... Silence! Do your duty. As you wish, Lord Cortan. And why should my brother follow you anyway? Especially since you're on the wrong end of the sword, stranger. Stranger? Me, please. I am Don Vincente Marino Ramirez, Grandee of Spain. And since you seem to be impatient to take your first lesson, let's start! Hey! Open the door. supposed to make a Highlander out of you. Ow! And that child is what I'll do. Ouch! I am not a child. I am Quentin McLeod. Oh. Good.
Good! That's better. See, it is precisely because you are Quentin McLeod that you are the one who must confront Cortan. Confront Cortan? Me? In all the time I've served you, this is the first occasion I've had the honor of arming you, my lord. They say it's been centuries since anyone has seen you in armor. My lord, I pity the men who dare to confront you, my lord. They're not men, you fool. They're jettators. Jettators? I'm supposed to meet jettators? Ouch! Stop it, stranger! Jettators? They are immortals who have forsworn the sword to help men overthrow Cortan's tyranny. Seven centuries ago, after the great catastrophe, all immortals assembled together on the Hill of Oaths. By surrendering arms, we all became jettators. All but one. I refuse to take this absurd vow. And since no one will do battle with me, I declare myself the last immortal and claim the prize. Supreme knowledge and absolute power. You have no right, Cortan. You are not the last. <laughs> Poor Jettators, trapped by their own oath. So I believed until today. Ten years, perhaps ten centuries from now, another immortal will come to challenge you. An immortal who will not be bound by the oath we have just sworn ourselves to. And on that day, Cortan, you will know your end has come. No! And you're the chosen, Quentin McLeod. Your destiny is to confront Cortan. And for that, you must be prepared. Come, no time to lose. Come along, Clyde. One moment. She's not coming with us. I'm not going anywhere without her. And I've got something else to tell you, Don Ramirez, whatever your name is. I swore to my mother to free the Dundees. I intend to keep my word. Have you lost your mind? They're in Magonda. Then I'll go there and get them. Why not challenge Cortan to a duel while you're at it? What if he did? He's an immortal, isn't he? And what good is that if he can't help out the people he loves? And what about Cortan? What's your brother going to do about him? It's no problem for me. I'll just keep out of his way. 3,000 years, Ramirez. For 3,000 years, you've managed to avoid. Children, come on, this way to Magonda. Mm, what is this place? The slums of Magonda. This is where we'll find Mangus the Jettator. 700 years ago, Cortan stole his blueprints and used them to build Magonda. Quentin, oh. what's wrong? I... I feel something... strange. I feel that too, McLeod. It's the presence of another immortal. You'll get used to it. It might be Mangus. Or Cortan. Mangus! Is this the Highlander? Have you gone mad, Ramirez? Why have you brought him to fight so soon? Wait seven centuries, then lose him in a flash? Madness! He's not ready, he's a mere child. We're not here to fight Cortan, Mangus. We've come for the Dundees. The hunters captured them this morning. This morning, you say? The means are not in the energy complex yet. You mean we can get them out? No, young man. All Igor means is that they're still in the sorting station. Can you take us there, Mangus? Has your brain gone soft with the years, Ramirez? I cannot enter the city unless to fight Cortan. But I can show you the way through the sewers. Ugh. The Highlander. Here already. Ed. 
Excellent. I will defeat him before he has received the knowledge. <laughs> Quite right, my dearest lord. Much easier this way. One word, my lord. You're scared, Cortan. <laughs> Nothing can stop this grinder. But every four seconds, when the blades are opposite to each other, if you move fast enough, you can make it to the other side without getting your head chopped off. But the goal will never make it through. Nor will you, Clyde. You're staying here. What? But I... No arguments. That's it. You'll wait here with Mangus. Now! Go, Ramirez! Be careful, McLeod! An accident would be fatal, even for us! Go! Well done, McLeod! Clinton! Don't worry, little sister. I'll be back. Hey! The slave sorting station is over there. That's where your friends are being kept. We have to make it fast. The hunters! Huh, it was nothing. Eternal power to Cortan. Watch these men carefully. They're dangerous. Don't get any ideas, Dundee. What's so funny? Who do you think it... Uh. <laughs> Who are you? A miracle. Over there! Open the grill! Quentin, you're alive! Follow Igor. He'll lead you outside. Stay where you are. Let's see what you've learned, Highlander. Ah! Right. Well, could say thank you. Let's get out of here before more hunters turn up. So, is this the terrible McLeod? <laughs> Do not move, child. I am not a child. Of course not. You're the Highlander. So come and fight like one. No, not now. Do you remember this, Cortan? It almost cut off your head 20 centuries ago. Your oath, Ramirez. Leave us, McLeod, and come back to avenge me when you're ready. If one of us must die, it's me. Mangus, stay out of this, you old fool. <laughs> Get out of here, Ramirez! I can't hold him up for long! No! There's no choice. We must obey! But he hasn't got a chance! Mangus knows what he's doing. What will become of him? He'll pass away, and his knowledge about the architecture and the secret passageways of Magona will go to court.
have learned so much from Mangus. He taught you his most important lesson, MacLeod. One simple truth. If you believe in something, believe in it to the very end. On our way, Highlander, your adventure is just beginning. <laughs>